Let's talk about Ludwig leaving YouTube. So Ludwig has been on YouTube. I mean, not leaving YouTube, sorry. Leaving Twitch and being on YouTube. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to like accidentally. <laughs> but breaking news. Um, so Ludwig has moved over to YouTube. It's been a few months now since he's done that. I was about to say, yeah, yeah. That would have been huge. Um, so let's read this. Uh, <laughs> let's read this about him uh, facing problems on YouTube. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I misspoke. I'm sorry. Um, during an interview with Colin and Samir, pop I don't know who those people are. Is it is that the name of a channel? Whoa. Ludwig is only 26 years old. I thought he was like my age. You don't know Colin? Wow, sorry. The Twitch community was sh uh, shocked in November 2021 when one of its top streamers, Ludwig Agrin, signed an exclusive exclusivity deal with YouTube. During a sit-down interview with Colin and Samir, the 26-year-old opened up about the list of problems he's had to deal with since switching to the Google-owned platform. I'm surprised that he's he's 26. You're only 28. I checked the panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You found out that YouTube isn't Twitch. <laughs> Former star opened up about moving to the YouTube during the February 28th Colin and Samir show. During the hour-long conversation, Ludwig did not shy away from voicing his criticisms about the new platform. I'm with YouTube, and I won't be shy. There's a list of problems. There there were fears before going to YouTube. There are now problems that I have to deal with currently. But it's things like YouTube doesn't have the ability to host or raid from a live stream. They don't have the ability to like give subs. There's a whole list of things that YouTube doesn't have that Twitch does, quality of life things. Even how chat moves is a problem on YouTube. He didn't stop there and get, gave his take on why YouTube is lacking a culture compared to its Amazon owned rival. Twitch has a godlike culture that these days can only be found in like TikTok. There's no real culture on YouTube, it's too big. Agrin um, then explained how the community on Twitch is more intense. Twitch has this amazing culture that if you're in it for only a week, you start typing differently. You start talking differently. The community you're in is like its own little bubble and it's awesome. That doesn't exist on YouTube. And that was all scary to me. Problems aside, the mogul money creator also revealed that his viewership numbers are actually better on YouTube. According to the 26 year old, he has a much easier time bringing over viewers from his content videos to his streams on the same platform. So while he was initially worried, he explained that moving from Twitch ended up paying off in a big way. Little we ended the, podcast, ended the podcast by explaining one current problem he faces on YouTube, its content ID system. Compared to people on Twitch who are literally watching MasterChef or literally watching Death Note, they're actually um, watching syndicated TV shows and I'm unable to watch even YouTube videos because the content ID system is just too good. It's a learning curve, he said. Like that's pretty rough. To not be able to um, watch any YouTube videos on YouTube. What's up, Cookie? Another stream I watch has been experimenting with streaming once a week on YouTube and finally announced today that he's giving up on YouTube. It's just not a good, as good of a streaming experience. Yeah. I mean, the things that Ludwig is saying are definitely things that I've been saying um, here as well. Like, um, you know, I, I think YouTube is definitely going to be... Oh, man, my... My back and neck have just been a mess lately. Um, these, the things that Lugwa is pointing out, I think are the make or breaks for, for, and it's weird because you think like, oh, well, Lugwa is literally saying that he is getting better viewership on YouTube. Okay. For a lot of streamers, that's like, oh, dang, I want more viewership, right? Like most streamers want to grow their stream. So that should be like a, kind of like a, a light bulb, like, oh man, like I should pay attention to YouTube. That That's really good news to hear. But everyone's caught up in the, the small things. Um, and the small things, I think what, what YouTube um, sees is they don't, they're like, oh, well, chat might be different and we're working on sub gifting and, and rating and hosting will come. Um, but those things that, you know, YouTube downplays are actually pretty significant when you have been on Twitch for a long time. Um, there is a culture around Twitch. Um, there is, um, you know, there's, there's just, there's just certain things that people are used to. And it's not so much about copying Twitch exactly, but it's just about the expectation of, you know, the familiarity of features. 
um and getting and and just having something that's like kind of slimmed down or just like skeletal right like compared to the feature rich platform of twitch which is funny like to say but you know twitch does have a lot of different things going on do you think um that when you only streamed on youtube you have less of a hard time than if you went from twitch to youtube um well i think so because you don't have you're not used to the culture of twitch you're not used to the features right like i think the fact that you're losing things and you feel that right that that hurts right if, that, if that's what you mean if, in terms of like just feeling that difference i try to watch streams on youtube it's just terrible compared to twitch you can't even dock the chat box to the side of the stream you can um i mean the chat box you can minimize it's interesting that you say that because in terms of like streaming like quality and the player um youtube is better actually in that regard um like when there's those big award shows or the big conferences conventions e3 stuff like i mean we usually went to youtube streams we looked for the youtube stream because it was just so much sleeker um and and better quality you know turns out it's easier to add vods to your live streaming websites than it is to add live streams to your web vod website um Wait, what do you mean by that cookie? What's up, holy soul? How you doing? Um, I mean, I think that um I think if you're comparing Twitch having VODs to YouTube adding live streaming, I mean, I think that YouTube is better off. I think Twitch's VOD system is, is I, like it's come a long way, but there's no discoverability for it. Um there's it does nothing for you. The VODs don't do anything for you on Twitch. Um Anyways, I think that is, uh, I think that's interesting. 